All right, what's up? Gonna do a little site install of these new Strike Industries. Let's take it out of the shininess because it's just glaring everywhere. The new Strike Indi Industries modular blade site for the Glock. This is specifically going on a Glock 19 uh, Polymer 80 build. This is the last part I have to do. So real quick, um, I have the front sight on here already. I did that another day, it's pretty simple. Um, and really, you know, there's a ton of Glock sight videos. Just wanted to uh, show you kind of a 3D printed sight mount. Sight jig mount, uh, yeah, sight jig, something like that. So I'm kind of new to Glock, so please feel free to call me out in the comments if I'm doing something wrong. Um, yeah, I, it is clear. I think I'm doing this right. I always pinch my finger every time I do that. So who knows? Um, I will do be doing, I will be putting together a full kind of, kind of build on this guy. It's fun to do. I like to build it. It's fun. Um, but yeah, so just going to grab these sights out. Uh, again. Feel free to let me know what I'm doing wrong, because I'm sure I'm doing stuff wrong. But just some blacked out kind of sights. And, and the, the purpose on these were, you know, I, I'm going to put an optic on here eventually. I'm not going to spend another $130 on on some tritium or whatever whatever you, you have out there for expensive sights. And it was another $120 for a sight mount. Found the file online, Thingiverse. I'll link that in the description below. And I printed it pretty, pretty dense. And I did do the little metal inserts here so that it's not, you know, you're not just twisting that through, through the plastic. But yeah, the epoxy's dry. I've got this thing all kind of tidied up here. So let's see if I can figure out how to, how to set this up. Um, try to get it in the camera as best I can. Again, I've never installed sights on any firearm before, let alone a Glock. But I did watch a bunch of other YouTube videos. I will link those right here in the corner. Boop, boop, boop. Or however it is on mobile from the bottom. And those ones are great, so don't watch mine if you're watching it, if you've never installed sites, watch the other ones that know what they're talking about. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna make sure I get enough light right there in the crevice. But yeah, again, 3D printed, um, looks like it's, it's working. Looks a little cattywampus, but Figure it out. What do you guys think? I'm kind of waiting for any crazy noises to like crack or something, but sliding in there. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm halfway there, but I'm gonna chalk one up for like a 3D printed victory here. Oh, starting to hear a couple little. A little noises here and there. Sorry for bouncing all over the place, guys. It's early in the morning before my kids are awake. Get a little peaceful time. I don't have to be at work or take anyone to soccer or wipe any butts. Yeah, you know that happens. I am a dad, so boom. All right. Um, from, uh, I think it was Iraqi veteran. I'm gonna use the uh, the calipers on there to to see to center it. So I'm gonna go grab my calipers and center this beast. I'm gonna eyeball it though. Sorry, I'm pointing it a little towards my face so I can I'm gonna eyeball it. All right, well, I'm gonna back this off. Sweet. Let me know what you guys think. 3D printed sight press. 
I had the metal, I had to buy the screw and the bolt. So, uh, overall, I think the cost of this thing was probably filaments dirt cheap. So it's probably like a dollar, two dollars in filament, less than a dollar in bolt. I think it was 60 cents for the nut and bolt. Um, that steel I happen to have was some tool steel for making knives. So don't have to use that. You can use anything that's just not going to let the, the screw not gonna not gonna dig into plastic you need to push against something solid there so um, so cost effective I'd say man those things are hundred and something dollars so I'd even just throw some up online buy one for 20 bucks or something um, unassembled because I don't have the time to assemble it I'd have to charge you another thirty five dollars for that anyway uh, grab some calipers and I'm gonna center this up but that's not kind of what the video is about because I am not a Glock expert by any means, but it worked. Some of the Cerakote there to dug out. So we've got a sight there. Boom. So I'm going to center that up, but if you guys don't care about that, all links to some videos. If you were hoping to get some info on uh, aligning that sight, I'll link a an actual decent video in the description and go watch that one to, to get your site centered but that was just kind of a, a quick look at the 3d printed site jig works pretty good I'll link that up and I'll give a little credit to the to the maker on there so um, yeah drop some comments if you have anything that you want to say any other good videos on Glock site alignment because I've only seen I think two but yeah Learning what I can about the, about this uh, these Glock builds. Like, when is a Glock not a Glock? There's only a few Glock parts on here, but overall, it's of Glock design, so it's a Glock. All right. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe. I'm going to come out with some new videos. The next one will probably the, be the first build on this or maybe the first shot, see if it shoots. So, And uh, the tools that I use to assemble. So thanks, guys. Check back. Boom.